The traditional method of teaching math is like many traditional teaching methods. Um, it's static, it's been unchanged for 50, 60, 70 years. Um, it's not particularly inform informative, it's not particularly effective. They have something, for example, called the number rods, which are a really fun activity for a three-year-old. They're brightly colored, uh, red and blue, and they arrange them from smallest to largest. Um, and they get a nice little spectrum going um, in increasing increments. They have no idea what this means, and neither do their parents, really. They just enjoy playing with them. What they're really doing is learning the decimal system. Every rod is 10 centimeters long, and they're learning the increasing amounts of length all the way up to sort of the 100 value. So they're looking at 10, 20, 30. They don't know that they're learning to count. They don't know that their mind is learning to reason in this way, that they're learning a base 10 number system but they are. When they get into the junior program, everything is designed around hierarchical values and base 10. At age nine, they're all the way up to learning millions and hundreds of millions, and they can count into the billions and number with, without any difficulty. When we get into the senior program, we expand it the other way, learning the decimals, going all the way down to hundred thousandths and millionths. Um, and they have no difficulty with this because they found this concept when they were three years old and it's built deeply into their sense of numbers and their sense of math. The Montessori child not only knows how to do their math, but they know how to reason, how to abstract, how to apply their skills to new situations. They become resourceful problem solvers.